Hundreds of volunteers taking paint to the graffiti covered walls of Hinchliffe Stadium, one of the last homes in the country to Negro League Baseball. The 10,000 seat arena is already showing signs of progress from just months ago. It's been empty and declining since 1997 until now. And we're taking it back brick by brick and this stadium once again will glow in the dark. I'm excited. It took us a long time to get here. Honored to be here today to celebrate the designation of the only National Historic Landmark in baseball. Today marked the official unveiling of the stadium's National Historic Landmark designation after being inducted earlier this year. In its glory days, nearly a dozen Baseball Hall of Famers took to the field here, including Patterson's own Larry Doby, who was the second player to break the color barrier in Major League Baseball. We should never obviously forget Jackie Robinson as that pioneer, but we should also never forget Larry Doby. Two professional Negro League teams called Hinchliffe home, the New York Black Yankees and the New York Cubans. Robert Scott was a Yankee. It means so much that the, the, that the young kid will have a chance to come here and play and learn. The stadium also boasted three professional football teams, boxing, auto racing, and entertainment, and Patterson Public Schools played here. Jennifer Renew was a cheerleader here in the 60s. Hinchliff Stadium was packed. I mean, it was just standing room only, especially on Thanksgiving Day when Central High School and Eastside High School were rivals and they played that uh, annual football game. The school district owns the stadium today. Friends of Hinchliff Stadium was founded by Patterson native Brian Lapinto, who has been at the forefront of securing funding to revive the historic structure. Another son of the Silk City, Congressman Bill Pascrell, who played here himself on semi-pro and high school teams, is sponsoring a bill to expand nearby Great Falls National Park to include the stadium. You'd never think all of these activities happened here. If there ever was a place in America which was, had no racial barriers whatsoever, it was Hinchcliffe Stadium. Senator Menendez is also pushing for the bill in the Senate. Although today is a celebration, there is still work to be done. Hinchcliffe Stadium is in the bottom of the ninth inning. It's in the fourth quarter, it's in the twelfth round. The question is, will Hinchcliffe Stadium have an encore? Well, that's, that's up to you. Planners estimate they can achieve full restoration with as little as $14 million. In Patterson, I'm Christy Duffy, NJTV News.